Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, written by Robert M. Persig, is a philosophical masterpiece that uses a trip across America to study the deep, life-changing idea of quality. The story combines story elements with deep spiritual thoughts in a way that makes it an exciting journey for the mind and soul. The important people in this story are the unnamed narrator, who used to be called Phaedrus, his son Chris, and John and Sylvia Sutherland, who are traveling with them. The four people go on a motorcycle trip from Minnesota to California. This serves as the setting for a deep look at philosophy, personal growth, and the connection between a father and his son. As they travel west, the narrator, who is a passionate motorcyclist, uses how to take care of a motorbike as a way to explain deep philosophical ideas. He compares the classical approach, which he represents, which is based on technical understanding and logical analysis, to the romantic approach, which is represented by the Sutherlands, who like beauty in the here and now but don't like technical details. This shows how different people can have different views of the world and how those views affect how we deal with the world. Quality, which the narrator says can't be defined but can be seen, is one of the main ideas in the book. Persig uses the narrator's past life as Phaedrus, a creative and smart college professor who became obsessed with defining quality and had a mental breakdown, as a metaphor for the deep quest to understand the meaning of life and its underlying values. As they travel across the American landscape, times of tension and resolution, like Chris's illness and the narrator's problems with his car, give them chances to think about life and philosophy. The story of Phaedrus is slowly told by the narrator, and we can see how his past lives show up in his conversations with Chris and in his own thoughts. When Phaedrus's story is fully told, it is a turning point. It turns out that his quest to define quality, which caused him to have a nervous breakdown and then undergo electroconvulsive therapy, completely changed who he was as a person. This discovery shows the struggle between classical rationality and romantic imagination, as well as the danger of being too obsessed with abstract ideas at the expense of one's mental health. Along with Phaedrus's story, we see how the storyteller and Chris treat each other as father and son. It seems far away at first, but it gets closer as the story goes on. This shows how the narrator learns more about himself and his past. Chris's fight with fear and anger mirrors the narrator's inner conflict, and their journey together brings them closer. When the narrator and Chris reach the top of a mountain, both physically and symbolically, this is the story's climax. It shows that they got through their own problems and that the tension between the storyteller and his past life as Phaedrus was resolved. This moment shows how important it is to grow as a person and make peace with yourself. In the end, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance is more than just a book, it's a trip through philosophy. It puts together in a beautiful way the everydayness of a motorbike trip with deep philosophical discussions. The story looks at the idea of quality, the difference between classical and romantic worldviews, the terrible effects of mental illness, and the complicated relationships between fathers and sons. Its charm comes from how it turns an everyday task, like fixing a motorcycle, into a way to think about life's biggest questions. This book is a good reminder that philosophy isn't an abstract subject that only happens in the classroom. Instead, it's a part of our everyday lives, present in everything we do, every choice we make, and every relationship we make.